Yo, listen, God is ruling in your favor. All of you out there who have been steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the works of God, knowing that your labor is not in vain. All of you all who have been inhabiting in God, saying, God, I praise your holy name. I worship you no matter what I'm seeing and hearing and feeling. Those of you who have stood the test of time. In other words, you've been standing on God's word. God is saying he is going to rule in your favor. How do we know this? Because he is the ultimate judge. He is the honorable judge, Jesus, presiding over every single case, problem, situation, accusation. God is the judge over it all. And because we have been in right standing in the position of being posture in his son, Jesus Christ, guess what, y'all? We are being favored in this hour. The enemy will not win this case. No whatsoever. That's why God said in the time of trouble, he will hide us in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide us. That his name is a strong tower and the righteous run to it and we are safe. God is saying you are safe right now. Don't look at what's been shown to you. Don't listen to what you are hearing. God said trust in his word. Continue to trust because he's ruling in your favor. He is. In other words, God is going to avenge you of your enemies. He's going to avenge you of your enemies. If you go to Luke, the 18th chapter, it talks about a widow woman. This widow woman kept going to a judge and they described this judge as one being unjust, one that did not fear God, one that did not regard man. But this widow woman kept going to this judge asking him, judge, please avenge me of my act. The series avenge me of my adversaries and every time she would go to this judge this judge would deny her of her justice but let me tell you something about this widow woman this widow woman understood what belonged to her she understood that justice belonged to her she understood that she was supposed to be avenged which means that she did not let up she was relentless every single day she woke up bright eyed and bushy tail and went to that judge and said avenge me give me my justice give me my peace and every time he said no it gave her more more and more strength to keep going back and you got to keep doing the same thing which means where knowing what belongs to you you know what God has called you to be doing have you know what God said he said we are more than conquerors that we shall be above only and not beneath that we shall lend and not borrow that by his stripes we are healed God said that he shall avenge us and as it talks about in Luke 18 this widow woman keeps going back and forth to this judge and this judge would not give her what she wanted but she stayed persistent until the judge said, this widow woman troubleth me. I've got to avenge her because if I don't, she will continue coming to me, therefore making me weary. What does making me weary? Giving me a headache, giving me a heartache, giving me a stroke, making me lose my mind up in here. He said, I better give her what she wants. And as Jesus spoke of this parable in Luke 18, he said, did you hear what the unjust judge said? This judge that did not fear God, that did not regard man, that was unjust. Jesus said, did you hear what he said? Then Jesus goes on to say that God will not God do the same for his own elect. In other words, if an unjust judge will give a woman justice, what do you think God would do for you? What do you think God would do for you? He will go beyond and above for you. As his word said, I will do exceedingly abundantly above all you could ever ask or think. God said he would do above that what that unjust judge did for that widow woman. He said, would not God do the same for his own elect, those that cry day and night? even though God bear long with them? Then it says this, God will avenge them speedily. Which means what? God said he's coming quick, fast, in a hurry for you. He's going to solve that problem for you quick, fast, and in a hurry, speedily. But then it says this, when the son of man come, will he find faith on the earth? 
What does that mean? It means while Jesus is coming to your rescue, will he see his reflection in you? Will God see his reflection in you? Because I'm telling you, God only shows up in certain atmospheres, okay? He only shows up, matter of fact, in one atmosphere. That's the atmosphere that reflects him. <laughs> Which means what? It's his word. That's why I said, will the son of man find faith in the earth? Will God find his word? Will he find you speaking his word? In other words, will he find you waiting patiently? They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as an eagle. They shall run and not get weary. Walk and not faint. Don't you know? In the first verse of Luke 18, it says this man ought to always pray, pray and not faint. Well, the only way you can't faint is that you're standing on the word of God, which is your faith. And God is saying, will he find faith in you when he's on his way to rescue you? When he's bringing you to it, will he find you with his words on your tongue and in your heart? Because remember, Jesus said, men worship him with their lips, but their hearts are far from it. Are you just speaking it and not believing it? Or are you believing it in your heart and you speaking it? Because if those two are, are the same, if those two are aligned upon what God has said, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? God said he can't help but to move on your behalf. He can't help but to manifest on your behalf speedily. And God is saying he is avenging his people because he see how you've been done wrong. He see what they said about you. He see what they did to you. He see all things that they tried to do you wrong. Tried to scandalize your name. He see it all. And he said he shall avenge you speedily. So keep your mouth shut. With trying to rebuttal against those who have come up against you. Keep your mouth shut. As far as trying to go back and forth with them. But open your mouth and your heart wide. To the word of God, that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. That in the time of trouble, God shall hide me in his pavilion, in the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. That during the time of the enemy, that we shall not be ashamed. You get what I'm saying? That's what your mouth and your heart should be open to. Not to prove yourself to anybody. Because God didn't call you to prove yourself to anybody. God said he called us. He predestined us. He glorified us and justified us. Which means he does the proving. That's why he said let your light so shine. It ain't your light. It ain't my light. It's his light shining through us. Letting that light so shine amongst men. That they may see thy works and glorify God. Which means what? So they can see that, they're, or that, that, that they were wrong in what they were trying to do against you. God knows how to heap coals on men's heads. That's why he said, be good to them and bless them. Because when you do that, when you give them water to drink and clothe them and whatnot, he said, you will reap coals on their heads. In other words, they'll see God in you and realize, uh-oh, I touched God anointed. I touched God prophet. And then they're going to do their best to try to make it right. They're going to be your best promoters. Oh, thank you, Jesus. They're going to be your best promoters. Your best marketers. And you ain't even got to tell them. Why? Because they're going to be trying to right or wrong. Because God is going to allow them to see that they did you dirty. You ain't got to fight it. God is your judge. And he's about to give you favor. He's ruling in your favor. Which means what? He's overruling every plot, plan, agenda, assignment that the enemy had facing to you. That the enemy wanted to bring to your life, to your family, to your money, to your health. God is overruling it all. I hope y'all got this because I'm telling you, God don't play about his. He doesn't. He always rule in our favor. Why? Because he said we are more than conquerors and we can only be more than conquerors through him. And as long as we are abiding in him and his word is abiding in us, guess what? <laughs> he already got our back. The situation has been resolved. He's presiding over every single case, over every single accusation over every single problem and situation. He is the judge, the ultimate judge, the judge, the honorable judge, Jesus presiding over you because he's your head and you acknowledge him in everything so he can't help but to direct you in victory. I hope y'all got this, but if you didn't get it, listen, rewind the saying because some of y'all was, was in a space thinking that your enemy's getting away, thinking that your enemy's getting away with accusing you, got you looking bad, and God said, not so, he shall avenge you speedily. Go ahead and read Luke 18 and see what God says about you. 
He is going to give you favor, rule in your favor, and overrule what the enemy has tried to do, to do in your life. He loves you. He really does. And when he loves you, he will manifest himself on your behalf. He will do it like no one else can. I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all know I love y'all. And most of all, Jesus loves you too, okay? I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all be blessed. Read Luke 18. I'm here to tell you that God shall avenge you of your adversaries. He will overrule the enemy, rule in your favor, and bang his hammer. Not a gavel, because God said his word is as a hammer. So he's banging the hammer today on your behalf, ruling in your favor. You shall receive victory. Victory belongs to you, okay? I love y'all. I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all be blessed. Ciao.